Family, welcome back to the channel. You guys, if you're new on here, you are highly welcome. My name is Choice. For the returning unique fam that come back to watch this video, you are highly welcome as well. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for supporting your girl. Yes, 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 yes. yes. If you're new here and you have not subscribed to the unique family, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe, join the unique family because over here we drop lit content. We are lit over here, so we drop lit content. Join the unique family and become lit. Lit. Like lit. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming back. So today's video I'm going to be talking about the cost of living in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur is the capital city of Malaysia. So I'm going to be talking about the cost of living here. Okay. How expensive is Malaysia? Is Malaysia expensive? If you want to find out, keep watching especially as an african living here in malaysia how much it costs us in a month yeah i want to share with you guys so keep watching and like this video before we continue just like this video now just like now it's not it's not by force so i'm begging <laughs> i'm begging you like this video please okay let's get started so if you are living in malaysia or you are thinking about coming to Malaysia the first thing to be in your head like the first thing you should think of is your accommodation yes your accommodation your shelter the place where you can always put your head and get sleep and get some sleep yeah your accommodation that is getting an accommodation is the first thing and yeah which leads us to getting an apartment in Malaysia they have studio house they have Three bedroom apartments they have two bedroom apartments but me as a single woman when i was schooling we were three girls sharing one apartment so the other girl was staying in the master room i was staying in the middle room and the other girl was staying in the small room so we contribute and we all contribute and pay for the apartment and then the amount of money that we contribute to pay for every month because we are living very very close to school is 2100 right so that is the amount of money that we were paying we were all contributing and paying for that apartment but right now the case is different we are now family family of four yes yeah, so we live in the three bedroom apartment and the three bedroom apartment is about depends on where you find your house okay the cost of apartment in malaysia depend on where you find your house okay old houses is cheaper but if you're going for new new houses new new condos new new apartments you should expect to pay more okay yeah so to us when we were staying in an old apartment as not just not really old 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 like someone has actually lived there before us yeah so we are paying a thousand three fifty yeah for a month as a family and it was unfurnished it was an empty house so we had to furnish it ourselves right so we were paying a thousand three hundred ringgit so right now we moved out from the old house we needed a new place we needed a new condo where nobody has lived before because we need to welcome our new prince our new boy <laughs> So we, we then got this new apartment no one has lived here before as a matter of fact we were still in this house when we were facing the ac when we were facing some things because we actually need to move out from our old house because our contract with the landlord has completed yeah so we got in this house is a new brand house and we are paying a thousand eight fifty one thousand eight hundred and fifty malaysian ringgit i'm going to put it here in dollar yes that is the amount of money we are paying for this three bedroom apartment and it's an empty apartment if you want them to furnish it that means you should be paying up to two thousand plus ringgit right so we needed just unfurnished so that we can furnish it ourselves yeah so we are paying a thousand eight fifty here let's talk about water bills because as you are living in a house you need to be paying bills as well if you don't pay water bills if you don't pay all these bills they are going to cut it off and you're not going to have water so we the maximum amount of money that we have paid for water bill is 40 malaysian ringgit other ones are 30 ringgit 35 ringgit okay so we talk about electricity bill oh my god electricity bill depends on how you use your ac 
AC is what actually makes electricity bill to be high in Malaysia. Yes. And you guys know that it's not possible for you to stay in a house. Like we have fans, we have ceiling fans, but that even AC, AC is actually good, right? At least even when you put the AC, sometimes Malaysia is very, very hot very very hot so you just needed the ac to make everywhere cool when we when we were only the ac as much as we are owning it now you will see that prince body started having ratchets both princes and their body started looking uncared like as if i wasn't caring for their body i wasn't taking good care of them but when we started owning ac like at least 20, 18 hours in a day yeah <laughs> their bodies started becoming fresh started becoming good yeah so amount of money that we pay for electricity be here in a month minimum is 500 500 is the minimum so we pay 500 600 700 because we are using ac so if you are using your ac 24 7 use your microwave using your uh, using your washing machine using your your fridge using all these things you should expect to pay more electricity bill yeah but the amount of money that we pay is from 700 to 500 i think there's a time we actually paid 400 uh, 425 i think yeah i think there's a time we paid 425 and that's because that month we didn't actually own ac as much as we used to own it if you are a single person you pay less 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 you are going to pay less than that the other thing you should think about is your wi-fi oh my god who wants to live <laughs> Like who want to live in Malaysia without Wi-Fi? Who wants to stay in Malaysia without Wi-Fi? Oh my God, your life will be so boring. You don't go on social media as much as you want to. You don't get to watch YouTube videos. Ah, that is number one thing. If you are looking for house, that is the number one thing you should talk about. This should that should be in your head. Wi-Fi. Yeah, you can stay without like you know using AC, but you cannot deal without Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi amount of money that we pay here is depend on the plan that you take. Okay, depends on the plan. So as family, I make use of YouTube. I I do YouTube. So amount of money that we are paying for Wi-Fi as family, we are paying a hundred Malaysian ringgit. And Wi-Fi is actually compulsory. Whether you are sing, whether you are single person or you are family person, this is actually compulsory something that you have to pay. Yeah, so but there are cheaper Wi Fi's, okay? But the one we pay for is 100 ringgit. Yeah, this bill that you pay in a month as a family or as a person, Netflix or Astro, any of them, you can choose any of them. Actually, before 2016, we were using Astro or uh, we started using Netflix, okay? And Netflix, the amount of money we pay for Netflix is actually 57 ringgit. Yes, 57 ringgit that is the amount of money you pay for Netflix in a month. Yeah, so another thing is food. Food. Food is very affordable in Malaysia. They make things very easier for their people. Sometimes I wish that I'm Malaysia, no food is their food is actually very cheap. They make things very, very easier for these people. I'm telling you the truth. Like they make things easier for them. But we as Africans, we cannot do without our African food. So because of we eat African food, so we get to spend more on African food, right? Yeah, so in a week or in two weeks, because we actually go to African shop and buy things for two weeks, every two weeks. So we can spend up to 400 to 500 ringgit buying stocks that we are going to use for the next two weeks. Yeah, sometimes I spend 400 and something, sometimes I spend 500 and something. It all depends on what we have right in the house if i get to buy a lot of meat if i get to buy a lot of other things like that we don't have in the house i'm going to spend up to 600 ringgit but we will have some things in the house i will get to spend like 400 i'll get to spend like four something like 450 470 yeah so as an african living in malaysia this is the amount of money we spend every two weeks on food stocks like from 300 ringgit and above buying African food stuff to stock up yeah so for these two weeks sometimes three weeks sometimes we use that for three weeks as well so it all depends on how we eat for that week okay yeah so you know you got to go out you got to go eat, you know dinner out and all of that you have to buy some things like pizza sandwich and all of that like subway so yeah if you are you know those things are actually not quite expensive i and hobby and princess are the ones that actually eat more than prince prince actually eats his food 
his food they like, his milk and his uh, you know cellulite and other things, other food that he eats, veggies and uh, other ones that he eats. Yeah, so his own food Prince can actually finish one packet of milk in a week, sometimes four days, sometimes three days. That boy that boy can eat though. So just imagine how much we spend in a month buying his food and his food is actually expensive but not much expensive okay yeah so if you calculate all these things you are going to be you know spending much more like up to eight thousand five hundred as a family for food in a month transportation another thing is transportation transportation malaysians make transportation very easy for their people for everyone like transportation is very very cheap in malaysia when i was schooling i used straight to go to school and how much i'm going to spend from my house from chiras to bukichale oh my god then i was paying 67 cents or 70 cents this is the amount of money i pay for train but if you want to go buy grab car you're going to pay obviously much more than that malaysian have bus they have train stations it all depends on your budget and okay so if you are a student like i was i usually use train to go to school because it was quite very easy and very very cheap for me you know for my spending in a month as a bus one ringgit bus that you can take you see very very cheap one ringgit yes you had one ringgit bus and let me just you know amaze you guys there is actually a free bus like there is a bus that can actually carry you free that is actually in KA like Malaysia transportations are the best I'm telling you but one thing that you can also consider is traffic there is a heck of traffic here in Malaysia but if for if it's for the transportations the transportations are, are quite easy and quite cheap and very affordable for everyone and there is also a grab car if you are somebody who is in a haste and you don't want to start waiting for bus or waiting for train you can actually take a grab car you just book the grab car in your house they come in front of your house and pick you up but that one actually costs higher than these ones that i mentioned but it's also affordable okay let's talk about clothes how much can you spend on clothes clothes are quite are not quite cheap but they're also cheap okay so you don't buy it's not every month that you buy clothes isn't it is it every month that you buy clothes but the month that we get to buy clothes we spend almost for the kids i spend almost 700 to 800 for any month that i want to buy them clothes like i don't buy clothes on for them every every month every month every month but the month that i get to buy them clothes i spend close to 800 to 900 like the last ones i bought for them i spent 700 ringgit buying them clothes like buying them new clothes so when you talk about me talk about the hub my hobby you should consider how much we can spend on clothes for that moment so yeah it all depends on you don't have to spend that amount if you don't have a kid if you're a single person and you also don't have to spend that amount of money if you have a kid it all depends on you and we don't buy clothes every month but clothes are quite affordable here so if you ask me generally how expensive is malaysia my answer to you will be malaysia is not expensive compared to countries that i have heard my friends talk about you know my friends in australia my friends in in u.s my friends in uh, in london my friends in canada who are schooling there my spending rates was actually cheaper than theirs yeah so if you ask me if malaysia is, is expensive i will tell you no it's not expensive if you are a family in malaysia or you are a family thinking of coming to malaysia you should just budget that you're going to spend from two thousand dollars every month downwards it all depends on you so malaysia to me is not actually expensive yeah and if you are a single person interested you are going to spend less like less less than that because when i was staying in when i was still schooling what i pay for rental is 500 ringgit my light bill is 50 ringgit my water bill is 20 10 ringgit is 10 ringgit my food very affordable i eat malaysian food a lot because of then i could i cannot you know eat african food every day because my parents sent me money every month so i cannot be eating african food if not my budgeting will finish so you see i don't spend much while i was single because i have to split the bills with my housemates so i wasn't spending more than a thousand to five hundred ringgit in a month i wasn't spending more than that but as a family you have to spend up to a thousand dollars 
to two thousand dollars. Hope you guys find this video very helpful or interesting. If you're thinking of planning, you are planning to come to Malaysia, you're planning to move to Malaysia as a family, you're planning to move to Malaysia as a single person, or you're planning to come to Malaysia to school. I hope this video is very helpful to you. If you enjoyed watching, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye. Oh